Welcome back to the channel. I told you guys we we're gonna be heading over to Indiana on a long trip, taking our brand new travel trailer. Well, we've already gone there and now we're headed back home. You guys probably saw some videos of me getting this trailer weighed. You should go back and watch that video so that, that way you have an idea of how much we're towing. But I would tell you exactly how much this trailer weighs, but the problem is I haven't edited that footage yet, so I don't even know either. So by the time I post this video, that video will be posted. So we're gonna be doing a Philly Comedy Run in this one. And yeah, we have about, I think we're gonna get about 1200 miles on this trip because I did not fill up leaving Indiana. So this is basically a 1600 mile trip total. But yeah, I pretty much have already topped off I think once, but I do have some footage of a fill up that I did and I want to show you guys that really quickly. So let's go ahead and jump over to that footage and then I'll kind of give you guys a update on where we're going and where we're at right now. We have stopped here in Illinois and I just want to show you guys my truck is like disgusting. So we're going to find a blue beacon close to home. This is my first fill up. I am going to be topping off my DEF tank here. So I just want to show you guys what the Philly company was. I was running about 65 to like 69 miles an hour. And yeah, you guys will be able to see what I got for Philly economy. Oh yeah, she is dirty. Not too bad though. So here's the first stop for this trip. So I got 7.3, 188.7 miles driven. And I topped off like six times. And so I got 27.443. So yeah, we're pretty much at the very tip of Iowa, getting ready to cross over to Nebraska. So we have a thousand more miles to go and we still have to dump our tanks. I did not dump our tanks. And I did that on purpose because I wanted to see if the truck towed worse. So in another video, I'm gonna have my wife drive and she's gonna give her impressions because so far, it's been windy today, so I didn't want her driving today. But tomorrow we'll let her drive and see how she feels towing with all of our junk back there, if you know what I'm talking about, that black tank stuff. And the shower, I believe, actually let's go look real quick. So it's right here. Fresh water, I did refill that a little bit. So we're back at two thirds full. Black tank, oh wow, black tank is two thirds full. And then gray one is the bathroom. And then gray two is the kitchen sink. So yeah, we're pretty much at two thirds full with these two tanks. And I feel as though the truck towed great. Uh, we still have, like I said, two thirds full. I think that freshwater tank's like somewhere down here, slightly forward of the axles, 32 foot travel trailer. Like I said, I will check back in tomorrow to let you guys know some of the stats here. And at the end of this video, I'll probably just go ahead and put all the numbers in for the fill up so that way you guys can see them. But yeah, we'll check back in a little bit. See you guys in a second. And just like that guys, it is the next day. It's about seven o'clock in the morning. And I want to show you guys something real quickly. I did a video on this power station. If you want to go back and watch the video, I highly recommend you get one of these if you plan on full timing, um, anything, because it works on many different applications. So it's like 15 degrees out here and it's like a gust of 25 mile an hour wind. So I decided to plug in my truck tonight because I think it was like minus something last night. And so I wanna make sure my engine's nice and warm. So it's showing about 650 watts are going out right now. And that's pretty cool because I had it at about 70% charge and so far it's at 39%. And yeah, I think it puts out about a thousand watts. I think it's how, how much it can handle. So yeah, it's pretty good. But I already filled up the propane tanks this morning and I checked the tires so we're good to go. So all we gotta do now is get breakfast and then we're gonna head down the road. I'm gonna go ahead and top off because I wanna stop as least amount as possible. So we're at what 135.8 miles we got eight mpg i've been idling the truck for a little bit here and so yeah let's go ahead and top off and then we're gonna go ahead and get down the road and here's where we stopped at so like i said we are 
999 miles away from home. That is not bad. I drove cross country from Utah all the way down to, well, it was pretty much Miami. I mean, it was like 40 minutes outside of Miami. I think it was like 2,700 miles, something like that. It was crazy. I don't think I'll ever do that again. That was rough. And I did that in a day and a half. I think I did it in a day and a half. So yeah, this is an easy drive for me at this point. But yeah, already refilled, already reset trip one. Let's see how this truck does. Now, I'm gonna talk about this because when I first got our fifth wheel, I never did a video on this because I was going to and I just never got around to it. But I wanna talk about how everyone lies about their Philly economy when they're towing. Let's talk about that real quickly. Before we bought our RV, I did a lot of research on fuel economy. I talked to a lot of different people. Everyone had their opinion about what you could potentially get towing a trailer. Now, when I was originally starting to do my research, I was on the comments forum and I didn't really make any posts. I was just reading other people's posts on fuel mileage, things like that. You had some people who told you the truth and then you had people who just were just pulling numbers out of the sky. I mean, I don't think they ever looked. I just think that they assumed. But for the most part, I was under the impression that you can get 12 to 14 MPG towing anywhere between 12 and 15,000 pounds, just give or take. So when we got our fifth boat for the first time, when we started to go camping, we went like twice a month typically. And we went pretty close to home, probably about 45 minutes to an hour away. Um, it was in Silver Spring. It was called Cherry Hill. Cherry Hill. It was called Cherry Hill. And so it was about 45 minutes and we never really sat in traffic on the way there or even coming home because we're kind of against the traffic, I guess. And the best I can get, it was anywhere between eight on the low end to about maybe nine and a half. Like, and I would say nine and a half was probably just a good, like no wind, kind of going downhill perfectly. And the temperatures are like perfect. But when we start to, travel further out that's when I was like averaging about 8 to 8.7 now I was at the time using my 2018 Ram 2500 and it had the Cummins and of course it had the 68 RFE 6 speed transmission so I was like man like there's gotta be something wrong with my setup so I had my RV brand new so we were able to get some warranty work done so while I was in the shop I had asked them to check the brakes because I was just telling them just make sure there was no drag from the brakes anything like that so they checked the brakes, they said there's nothing wrong. I, mean, I don't know what you're feeling or whatever, but they said everything checked out. So I got a ramp to change our tire. So one time I was at our church in their big parking lot, I decided to check you know, each wheel and tire and just roll it to see if there's any resistance. And sure enough, there's no resistance at all. So I'm like, man, like, why in the world can I not get much better than eight MPG? So I remember we had a trip scheduled to go down to Florida and on that trip, I want to say it was probably about in the low 40s and high 30s going down to South Carolina. And I want to say I averaged about 8.3 on that trip, which was terrible in my mind. But upon doing a little more research and talking to some more experienced RVers, I started to learn that most of the things people say online is 100%, well not 100%, it's probably 70% false because if they didn't actually tell you exactly what roads they drove on and tell you exactly how much your, their trailer weighs, things like that, then you don't really know. So that's why I do these videos. I'm just giving you guys the facts. Now I will say I do drive a little faster than some. Some people get angry at me online like, man, you drive way too fast, blah, blah, blah. I will say though this trip, you've been averaging yeah. 65, 70. Yeah. I've been doing a little lower, slower, a little bit higher. but I've but I've seen no change in my fuel economy. Maybe one MPG, one one MPG. Would you get that? One one MPG, maybe. That ain't worth it to me. I'd rather just go at this like right now. You know, the speed limit out here in Nebraska is 75 miles an hour. Now that might seem like a really fast speed, but you have to understand something. The roads are completely straight. Some parts. Right Some now parts of them. 90% of these roads are just straight, like literally straight. And I don't want to get passed by a semi going 65 miles an hour on this road because most of the guys on this road are going about 75 miles an hour. So I'm okay to run 75, 80, 80 maybe sometimes.
times here and there like if I feel like there's just a perfect stretch of road no one's on it and I can drive like this basically like I mean listen I know I'm not using the weight distribution hitch but I'm telling you guys for me personally you have to make your own decision I'm not deciding for you I feel comfortable my wife's gonna do a video driving this truck and we're gonna see if she feels comfortable and if she feels comfortable I'm not getting weight distribution hitch but if she says she wants a weight distribution hitch that will make her family safer I shouldn't have said that during why did I say that I'm gonna, I'm gonna edit that out <laughs> but yeah if she feels as though she wants a weight distribution hitch we're gonna get one or sway control really that's what it is because I feel as though the way we have this RV um, loaded up because as I said earlier in the video I think I said in this video our black tank and gray tank are like two-thirds full. I think I showed that to you guys. So, you know, even with that being said, my freshwater tank is two-thirds, or is it three-fourths? I think it's three-fourths. It might, it might be like, I don't know, I can't remember now. But my point is, with this three-quarter ton truck that weighs 84, 8,500 pounds on the curb, when you add my family gear and the hitch weight, this truck weighs more than a trailer. So. Even with 25 mile an hour gusts, I feel fine towing this trailer. But again, for some people, you may not like the feelings that I feel towing this trailer. You may not like the same feelings that I have. Like, I'm used to having the trailer, you know, kind of wagging back there a little bit, but it's not transferring to the truck. You know, in some cases, if I were towing this with a half ton, I'd be going probably like 60 miles an hour, and I would definitely be using weight distribution hitch and still be going that slow because that truck weighs. 2,000 pounds less compared to something like this. So towing a 32 foot travel trailer is nonsense behind any half ton. I don't care what anyone says. And I'm only saying that because I got that trailer weight, which you guys will see a video before this one showing that. So when I do my videos, I'm not saying I'm getting 12, 14 miles a gallon and not showing it to you. I'm actually showing you guys each pump that I do, exactly what I'm getting. I'm able to get, you know, anywhere between six and nine mpg now and hopefully next actually yeah next year because it's still december hopefully in 2024 we'll be able to you know go to yosemite which is really far from home in the summertime and i can show you guys you know how well this truck does for philly climbing when it's not so cold outside but when it's 29 degrees outside when you're climbing from basically like 1100 you know elevations where we started all the way up to about 7,000 I think somewhere in Wyoming and then we're gonna drop back down to about 45 to 48 once we get to Utah like that's that's gonna affect your feel economy and don't let anyone tell you anything different it is so cold outside that my tires are showing 90 degrees and 72 degrees on the front tires 86 and 72 on the rear tires and the reason why that's crazy is normally they're like at 115, 120 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. But because of how cold it is outside, I'm not sure if you guys saw how cold it was. I'll show it to you here in a second. It's 29 degrees outside. So yeah, it is cold. So yeah, when you see tires that are like that cold, yeah, you're good. That means you're probably not gonna have a blowout, at least from heat. All right, so here's the next stop here. We did 160 miles, got a 7.2 MPG, and I averaged about 68 miles an hour. We just made it to Wyoming. Look who I have driving. You guys got some good content coming. My wife's gonna give you her impressions on the truck not using the sway control. And is that blue beacon open? Because if it is, we might need to go there and just clean up real quick. There's some cars out there. We might go over there after this. But we just made it to Loves, so we're gonna go ahead and top off. Now, I did not say this yet, but one thing I love about having this travel trailer versus our fifth wheel, I never felt comfortable going around the parking lot on the car side with a 40-foot fifth wheel. So I always use the truck stop side, but having the 32-foot travel trailer, it has been super easy. Do you agree? Yeah. I'm gonna have you pull up next to the pump too, so we're gonna see how you're gonna do. You've been doing great so far. Don't don't mess up. Don't make this a video. I say hashtag fail on wifey. You got this. We are at. My wife did so good too, guys. She's at 8.6. She was at 9.4. 
but then we just started dropping because we lost a little bit of sun temperature dropped a little bit and i got restless and she got restless i, I told you guys like i know you guys online some of you guys live with your mom in their basement y'all don't really tow trailers i'm telling you when you're driving like this you're going 70 miles an hour minimum so yeah we're gonna go ahead and fill up and then we're gonna go ahead and get down the road so we drove 190 miles we're pretty much in Wyoming I'll show you guys exactly this is the last one I'm gonna show you guys and I'm just gonna just pretty much put everything into the calculator for you guys for my spreadsheet but yeah we're we're pretty much in shooting distance to get home so seven and a half was the average 190.4 miles filling up the diesel right now and then I'll show you guys once it's done here's the spreadsheet for the entire trip the first fill up that you guys will see was the absolute worst we were hitting a headwind it was pretty windy it was very cold and we were pretty much on the state line of Iowa entering into Nebraska we went 188.7 miles we purchased 27 gallons of diesel at $105.63 the computer was saying we we're getting 7.3 mpg but the actual pump after topping off was 6.88 which was a negative variance when you consider the computer but the good news is this was the only fill up that was a negative compared to the computer the second fill up was probably the absolute best now we didn't go that far we only went 135.8 miles and we probably stopped to get food or something like that and i decided just to top off so we bought 15 gallons of diesel paid $54.18 for it computer was saying we're getting about 8 mpg but when you guys look here the pump when i topped off showed 9 so it was a 1 mpg swing right there as far as the third fill up goes $65 was spent on 20 gallons of diesel we went 160.2 miles 7.2 mpg which is the worst computer but it was actually 7.97 at the pump so almost another 1 mpg swing there now the fourth fill up we spent $116 on 29 gallons of diesel and we went 259.3 miles this is my wife driving by the way too it got a little bit warmer outside and the sun was out and we were pretty much on flat ground for the most part of that trip now she was getting 8.6 she got a little bit better than that but like i said it started to get cold again the sun went down and yeah it just suffered for the fuel economy but the pump was still saying 8.91 and it was a 0.31 mpg difference the last fill up here is 90 dollars spent on 23.3 gallons of diesel we went 191 miles basically uh, the computer was saying 7.5 this was nighttime too by the way so seven and a half mpg was a computer but we we're actually getting 8.14 so it was a difference of 0.64 here's the total for the cost of the diesel that we purchased 432 dollars and 65 cents we bought 115.1 gallons we drove 934.4 miles and the computer the average for this was 7.72 the pump was 8.18 and the difference between the computer and the pump so the pump we were getting 0.46 better than what the computer was saying so when i do my field economy runs that's why i use the computer because if you're doing a consistent drive without a lot of stops it's pretty accurate even when you're towing even when it's really cold outside even when there's a headwind it's pretty accurate but i hope you guys like the video i am going to be doing some more towing tests on this truck so stay tuned this time it'll be in the summertime and it'll give us an idea of the fuel economy and like i said what i'll do is i'll try to run at a consistent 65 miles an hour without cruise control to show you guys the fuel economy see you soon